What's up everybody, hope you're all doing great. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto, good afternoon. Um, and welcome to this video in which I wanted to take a look at Bone Shiba Swap. Bone is the governance token of the Shiba Swap platform. Um, but more importantly, it has been really bullish over the last 24 hours. Together with Vita Inu, which, which I'll also cover after this, I mean Bone, it isn't necessarily a, um, it isn't necessarily a meme token. But it definitely is in that kind of circle of, of confidence. And as you can see, I mean, Shiba Swap, you need to connect to wallet to actually, I mean, total vo volume lo locked is actually not that bad. Um, but I'm, I, I continue to see that the whole Shiba and the platforms around it as something like a meme token, right? And I think Bone is also a, a wild card. Um, for the next bull market to, to really increase in price. It's only a 15 million market cap, so that could definitely increase. In a bull market, a token like Bone is definitely going to have some sort of a bull run. Um, whether it's going to be as big as Shiba Inu and Doge, I don't think so. Uh, but that doesn't matter. And on the short term, I mean, it was about, it, it had a 7 million market cap, under a 10 million market cap over 24 hours ago. Yeah you can have nice rallies then uh, volume has gone off to 70 million that's actually amazing that's a lot of volume uh, most of that is coming from uh, from shiba swap uh, so that's great to see that there's there is some uti utility in that platform uh, but if we take a look at the price um, i'll get a little bit more positive because the price action is actually looking pretty bullish too you can see that we started this whole rally uh, yesterday in the afternoon First found resistance at around this $2 level or more around 1.9, 1.95. Um, found resistance there, but we very easily earlier today got over that. Uh, went all the way up to 2.4, took a break retest off of $2 and we actually are looking pretty bullish right now. So to me, uh, the obvious next price target would be around 2.5 and 2.6. If we analyze the price action, I mean, you can see that here, we found resistance at around 1.15 here at around 1.92 dollars here we found resistance at 2.4 so there's there's really not some sort of sequence we can follow 2.5 is a very strong psychological resistance level so to me um if we can actually stay above two dollars for the next 24 hours then i think we're going all the way up to 2.5 2.6 that would be my first price target i'm not saying that is going to be at the end i mean if we really have a lot of momentum we could go all the way up to three dollars uh, market cap wise and volume wise that could definitely happen um, but the most important thing is that we keep momentum all right so that we if, if we break above a level that we stay above that level um, and that we don't have to break above that again because for example this two dollar level we have broken above that and i think that if we can stay above that that we can get higher than what we did right now um, but if two dollars breaks and that's very important to to realize so please understand that and and um Remember that if we go below two dollars and we break below that on the one hour time frame, we're dropping all the way down to 1.6 and 1.55. And from this level, we would still have another opportunity to get to 2.5. But the chances of that become way lower. Um, and, and to be honest, I would even say that if we drop down below 1.95 now, we would drop down to 1.6 and that would probably be the, then 2.4 would be the top. And then eventually we would drop, we would drop down all the way to 1.15. Um, so I'm not saying this is going to happen now, but it, it, I am saying that that two dollar one point ninety five level is very important for what we're doing right now. If that breaks, I do think that bearish uh, scenario is going to happen. But if it's if, if it holds, which I think is the most likely scenario, uh, I think we'll go up to two point five and two point six, and then from there I'll probably update it again. So uh, hopefully see you soon. But for now, I'd like to thank you all for watching and listening, and I hope to see you all in my next videos. Bye.